Welcome everybody once again to Lucha Pro TV. My name is Joseph Duncan and we are coming to you from Arena Internacional Florence in Los Angeles, California. Get a women's match here. Ayoka Muhara taking on Katarina. Neither one of these women is stranger to Arena Internacional Florence. Colonobo tie up and uh, Katarina looks like well, she looks like she's trying to go for a go behind there, but Ayoka capturing her arm and attempting an arm ringer as wrist control of Katarina. Katarina though with a front flip and a reversal nicely done into an arm ringer of her own. And once again, wrenching down on that arm, twisting it and threatening to break Ayoka's arm. Nice escape right there by Ayoka into a shoulder block and now wrenching the arm once again herself, maintaining wrist control is Ioka turning inside there, attempting to break it, and doing so, snapmare takedown by Katarina. Katarina now, with a chin lock applied. Ioka fighting to get to her feet. Ioka doing so, and nice headlock takedown and side headlock controlled there by Katarina. Katarina, look at this, being pinned, we got one, two, no. Nice counter there by Mahara, attempting the pin. But Katarina able to shift her body weight around. Now look at this, nice counter by Ioka. As they're in a leg scissors. Katarina kicking out, escaping out of that hold, and we are at a stalemate at this early part of this contest. The fans really appreciating the efforts of these two ladies here at Lucha Pro. <laughs> oh, what's this? Katarina challenging Ioka to a test of strength. Not too many females ever bother to challenge. Males, for that matter, tend to shy away from uh, challenging Ioka to a test of strength. But uh, Ioka, she's up for it, looks like. Katarina perhaps second guessing her decision. That's right. And this is why you do not attempt to match power with Ioka. Katarina, the veteran though, came to the midsection now, springboarding off the ropes and a nice arm drag takedown. Katarina now out of the corner. Katarina now from behind has a waist lock, but look at this. Oh, kind of roll attempt, and no. Off the ropes, Katarina. Missing the clothesline right there, but coming back, and look at this big toss to the outside. Great ring awareness on the part of Ioka there, and now Ioka going to the outside. Ioka with a hard shot there to the lower back. Ioka now, look at that, a stiff forearm shot right there to the chin, but look at this now firing back. Katarina, that might have just made her angry. You do not want to be facing Katarina when she is angry. I wish whip and a reversal, look at that though, face first into that steel ring post. Ioka now taking her time, stalking her prey as Katarina attempts to get back into the ring. Ioka just going to allow her to do so as after all, that is where you can win the match. So in a way, that's exactly what Ioka wants. She wants you back in the ring. She wants you in the ring where she can beat you. But of course, before she beats you, she's going to beat on you. Hard shots right there to the midsection now. Look at this! Rapid fire by Ioka. A little move like a butterfly, sting like a bee action there. Ioka now. Look at this! Chin breaker right there on the part of Katarina. Desperation maneuver perhaps, but look at this. Inside cradle, we got one, we got only a count of one. Oh my goodness! What a back elbow there by Ioka. 
And Ioka now, look at that stomp. Oh my goodness. Katarina, once again, feeling the effects of that big stomp there by Ioka. And Ioka, late drop, measuring it, taking your time, and hooking both legs. We got one, we got two, no. Katarina able to kick out, but she has got to get back on the attack. She is not going to be able to continue to withstand offense from Ioka. Ioka, though, more than happy to stay on the offense. Nice little judo takedown there. And oh my goodness, kick right there in between the shoulder blades and again! And go for one more and oh my goodness! That could put you in the hospital right there. And now Ioka with a seated octopus stretch here on Katarina. Stretch that abdominal area and also put a bit of a wrench in the neck there. Basically just not a comfortable position to be in at all. Especially when being applied for somebody with the power of Ioka. But look at this, Katarina getting back to her feet. Katarina now fighting back. Katarina off the ropes. Hit with a big clothesline there. And that'll put a stop to your offense real quick. This crowd here in Los Angeles rallying behind Katarina, trying to will her on to fight. Katarina absorbing that energy from the audience, but now being choked on that second rope by Ioka. Referee putting in the count, getting all the way, just about to call for the disqualification. Ioka taking full advantage of that five count. And uh, to be brutally honest, I can't blame her for doing so. It's not exactly the moral thing to do. However, look at this big vertical suplex. Look at that, dropping her sideways there. Kind of an awkward landing on the part of, uh, we got one, we got two, no. Awkward landing on the part of Katarina, but that was not enough to keep Katarina down for the count of three. Ioka can't believe that. She could have swore that was a three count. It was pretty close. Shot to the midsection there by Katarina, but not effective as Ioka just pummeling her down into the mat now. And this match has got to be just about over. Katarina showing the fight that you would expect her to show, but having no answer for it. Look at this, gut wrench into, thought she's gonna go for a gut wrench suplex, but now go behind, roll up, we got one, we got two. No! Ioka able to kick out. Katarina there on the outside, driving her shoulder into the midsection. Katarina now, look at this nice tornado DDT coming back into the ring. She is not able to capitalize on it. However, this will give her a chance to catch her breath. This will give her a chance to recover just a bit. And this may be exactly what she needs to get back into this contest. Both ladies now down the referee putting in the count. If she gets to the count of 10, it will be declared a draw. I don't think that's going to happen though because Katarina with the eight of the ropes getting back to her feet. Katarina now on the offensive. Katarina. Look at this, exchanging shots with Ioka. Not really a place you would normally would want to be. Ioka is starting to get upset now. Ioka, big swing, but look at that, no. Katarina now coming back with a short close line of her own. Katarina, sitting her into the corner. Katarina! Being set up on the top rope block, and that Katarina now off the second rope. Cross body, we got cover one, two, no. Katarina feeling it though. Katarina is back in this match. Katarina now. Irish whip and a reversal into the corner. Ioka charging forward but runs into the boot. Katarina's seen that coming a mile away, but now look at this. 
Rebecca has her set up. Fireman's carry. Firewoman's carry? Fire person's carry. Oh my goodness! T-K-O! That's gotta be it! Hooks a leg! One! Two! No! How the hell? Ioka could have swore that was going to be it, and quite honestly, I figured that was going to be it as well. As they're set up now, but now look at this. Katarina, fire person, scary of her own, but now look at this. Big scoop right here, and no. Katarina sliding down the back. Katarina with a boot. Katarina now, hooking the leg. We got one, we got two. No. Katarina, though, for the first time in a long time, believing she can win this match. I mean, I'm sure she probably believed she can win it the entire time, but let, let's be fair. She was very close to being defeated by Ioka. I, I, and Ioka now saying this will be it. Ioka going for the kill. Ioka, no, buddy, home in the corner. Katarina now has her set up, and look at that. Backbreaker, we got one, we got two, three! Your winner, Katarina! Somehow overcoming the offensive onslaught by Ioka Mahara. Ioka has nothing to be ashamed about here. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Katarina! Everyone gets depressed on occasion, but if your feelings of depression have turned to thoughts of suicide, you need to talk with someone. You are not alone. Help is available. Call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline anytime. It's free and it's confidential. wrong and this one is underway one fall contest here at arena internacional florence in los angeles california once again my name is joseph duncan and this is lucha pro tv this is a inter promotional match between lucha pro and orange county championship wrestling of course look at look at this though hector canela is going after everybody even el Tuso doesn't want any of that and uh, El, T El Tuso and El Tuso and Luis Tapia there on the outside, and what I would like to say would not be fit for uh, public broadcast. So uh, uh, Luis Tapia doesn't want anybody touching him. And I mean, given his options, I, can't, I guess I really can't blame the guy. If uh, Luis Tapia thinks this taunting by this audience is going to improve, if he thinks anything is going to get better, he hasn't been paying attention. Edgar Canales is a Lucha Pro original, and of course uh, Luis Tapia, wrestler turned official, turned disgrace official, and look at it. I don't really know how to call this. It's, uh, it's entertaining to watch. Especially when it's happening to Luis Tapia. As I was stating, a wrestler turned official, turned disgraced official, turned wrestler. And now he's got to go up against Hector Canales here. And Hector, nice uh, arm ringer there. And uh, absolutely nothing suggestive about any of this whatsoever. 
Into a go behind and a uh, uh, takedown and uh, 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 <laughs> Luis Tapia getting to the rope, so he's gonna have to break the hold. He does. So. <laughs> Luis Tapia, all out of sorts here. Hey, hey, don't be looking for sympathy over here. Uh, to quote the great Scott Steiner, you don't get my simpy at all. Shout outs, by the way, to Scott Steiner. Hope you're doing better. <laughs> See, and that's the thing with Hector Canales. After he beats you psychologically, he beats you physically. All his antics, everything else he's got going on. The man is simply a great professional wrestler and a nice headlock takedown there. Very strong too, deceptively strong. He's not the biggest guy in the world, but you can see obviously he puts in a lot of work at the gym. Look at this, has him pinned, gets a count of two. Trying to pin his shoulders down again, actually gets a count of one there. Wait, look at this, we got one, two, no. -oh. Well, this is a reversal. One, two, one, two, <laughs> one, two, and, uh, uh, guys, I, I know this is uh, TV 14, but uh, I'm, there is, it, it is somewhat, it's not designed for kids, exactly, YouTube, but uh, I mean, you know, it, it is still, somewhat family programming so um, <laughs> I'll just leave it there oh, this will getting to the count of five as uh, Luis Tapia gets in it is of course a 20 count on the outside here according to the rules of Lucha Libre in case you wondered what Lucha in Lucha Pro meant side headlock right there by Canales once again now Backing him into the ropes, and look at that big shoulder block right there. And uh-oh, Hector Canales with some designs. Hector Canales, look at this, just smothering him there into a uh, waist lock, having him face down on the mat there. Look at that, runs right into a uh, hip toss, and another hip toss there by Canales. <laughs> look at that, he has Luis Tapia. Completely afraid to engage. Maybe I'll uh, not use the word engage. Um, <laughs> yeah, even uh, even I'm out of sorts here. Not necessarily in a bad way. I mean, just like everybody else here in Los Angeles having a great time watching this contest. Hope you're having a great time watching this contest at home or wherever you may be watching at this moment. All right, so both competitors in the ring now. Collar and elbow tie up, and look at that handful of hair now to a side headlock by Luis Tapia. What would you expect? This the, the this disgraced official taking a shortcut because of course. Look at that though, nice shoulder block right there by Tapia. A little index of his own now. Off the ropes, up and over goes Canales. Canales with a nice hip toss right there. Canales now. Hip toss once again, and big scoop, and a body slam right there in the center of the ring. Luis Tapia rolling to the outside. He has had enough. He is going to go to the outside and take a break here, and uh, me, of course, being the professional, unbiased uh, commentator that I am. Yeah, right. I just like watching Luis Tapia getting beat up. I'm sorry, but I do. The guy deserves it. Look at this, though. He's going to try to go to the... If he's going to try to escape, and uh, Hector Canelo's having none of that going after him. And uh, Tapia sliding back under the ropes. Oh, I think I might have an idea what's going on here. Elbow drop right there to the back of the head. Luis Tapia suckering him in. And you know, my personal feelings aside, Luis Tapia is a great ring tactician. Luis Tapia driving that heavy artillery there into the back of the head of Hector Canales. Rolls him over, goes for a cover. 
Hooks the inside leg, but only gets just barely a count of two. And uh, Tapia there taking a second to catch his breath for a little stomp right there in the back of the head. Simple but effective. And since he's been targeting the back of the head, it's actually quite smart to be honest with you. But uh, that could have been a mistake there as he let Hector Canelas go to the outside and catch a breath, but he does catch him with that kick coming back into the ring. And uh, Canales <laughs> going over to try to get sympathy, and look at this! Trying to get sympathy from El Tuso, and uh, I, I don't believe El Tuso has sympathy either. Look at that, little disrespectful kick to the side of the head there by Luis Tapia. I think he's wasting a bit of time here as he could finish this match off real quick, but no, he wants to deliver punishment and he wants to deliver disrespect. He wants to deliver insult and injury. And that, that could come back to work against him. But maintaining control of this contest at the moment. Irish whip right there and uh, up and over goes Hector Canales stuck at a clothesline coming back. Hector Canales there, do -si do look at that crossbody, we got to cover, one, two, no. And uh, going right into the eyes is Luis Tapia. Luis Tapia always looking for the shortcut. Look at that, big swing and a miss, almost takes out El Tuso. And, I mean, well, there's a part of me that might want to actually see that connect. Personal feelings aside, we, he's the official in this contest. We, we we don't need him taken out. Look at that now. Look at this, Luis Tapia. Luis Tapia once again going into the eyes. He might have Hector Canales blinded. I was gonna wonder anytime somebody wears a mask and uh, Hector Canales. Wearing this mask here, uh, nice mask, but you, you gotta wonder if it affects a wrestler's peripheral vision at times. Which is especially bad because getting your eyes raked, getting your eyes poked is gonna affect your total vision. Look at this, reverse knife edge chop. And uh, Hector Canales uh, trying to find the top rope there. Hector Canales, I, I'm not sure Hector Canales can see. El Tuso might want to consider stopping this match. I don't want to see uh, Canales, or anybody else for that matter, losing to Luis Tapia, but I also don't want to see this man permanently blinded. You know, Hector Canales recently considered retirement. And uh, obviously he's back in action here. Look at this, going to the eyes once again. El Tuso, at some point, you're gonna have to do something about that. Look at this going face first there to that top turnbuckle, nobody home, but look, oh my goodness. Luis Tapia having the ring awareness to catch Hector Canales going up to the top rope and, uh, well, uh, crotching him there on. <laughs> Hector Canales now. I mean, I don't want to make light of the situation, but. I mean, that, that could be one of the most damaging blows to you know, to any male competitor, but when you're Hector Canales, you know, that, that's just absolutely devastating. Look at this. Luis Tapia threatening. Luis Tapia, that would be, oh my goodness. Leg drop right there, and uh, you know, the, the back of the heel, of course, catching the fabled lower abdominal. So it's a, it's a quest, legally questionable maneuver, but being a former official himself, he knows he can get away with it. Yeah, of course, to the midsection, right, right, sure. Look at this now, trapezius hold, working that muscle, that trapezius, that, that muscle in between your shoulder and neck. Absolutely excruciating to have that muscle worked over. And uh, Luis Tapia, once again, wrenching down on that trapezius. He's trying to put this man out. Oh my goodness, driving an elbow to the shoulder now. And once again, back to the trapezius hold. 
And uh, El Tuso considering stopping this match. El Tuso checking to see if Hector Canales wants to give it up. Hector Canales, that's the one thing. This man is triple tough. I don't think he's going to quit. Yeah, you may not look at Canales and think he's a tough guy, but he, he actually is, believe it or not. And uh, Hector Canales getting his crowd behind him. Hector Canales feeding off the energy from this audience. Hector Canales getting back to his feet. The trapezius hold having almost zero effect. And now look at this, arm ringer and blocks that and fires back with a shot of his own. Hector Canales now. A series of strikes. Hector Canales, Irish whip. Hector Canales, big clothesline right there. Take it down to Pia. Coming back and catching an even harder clothesline. As I'm set up, Canales, vertical suplex. Look at this, setting up, maintaining control and going for another one. Another vertical suplex. Pop of the hips, getting back up, going for the third of three amigos. But now, look at this. <laughs> well, okay. Famous uh, right there by Hector Canales. We got a couple. We got one. We got two. No. <laughs> Luis Tapia. I got to give the man credit. I don't like doing so, but I got to give him credit for being able to kick out of that. And uh, Hector Canales. Canales could have swore that was going to be a count of three. Dunk in the clothesline right there, though. No. Canales, triple pump neck breaker. <laughs> Look at this cover. We got one, we got two, we got three. Your winner representing Lucha Pro, Hector Canales. My name is Mark Hyacin, and in honor and in love of my mother, a survivor since 1992, I founded Men Against Breast Cancer. Men Against Breast Cancer is the nation's first and only nonprofit whose mission is to empower, to educate men to be effective caregivers when breast cancer strikes one that they love. Join our team at menagainstbreastcancer.org. Enjoying the show and want to see even more content from Black Leather Crew Productions? Consider supporting us on Patreon or subscribe star.